Hello YouTube, this is the Atlanta Puzzler with part 6 on how to design and 3D print your puzzles using Onshape. Okay, so in the last uh, part of the series where we left off, um, we had these um, three parts felleted and they're starting to shape up, look nice. So I'm gonna hide, uh, sorry, I'm gonna hide the corner and the edge and I'm gonna leave the center and what we're gonna focus on in part 6 is to um, create a center cap for this. So to do that I'm gonna click on the right side view to look at the profile of the piece here and we're gonna create a plane and um, the first thing is gonna ask you is what do you want to base your plane on and I want it to be parallel to this uh, front plane clicked on it so now it's creating this plane here where the arrow is. I want to reverse the direction and it's creating it now 25 millimeters from the center. It uses 25 by default. But if I zoom in, uh, I think I want this to be 26 in my case. Maybe so I want to slice along this line here and I'll call this create uh, center cap slice plane. Okay, now we have um, a surface um, right here with the long name. Let me hide the front plane so it's not confusing and the right. So this is the plane that we want to slice with right here. And to do the slicing, again, I'm sure you're familiar with it by now, we click on this icon, parts or surfaces to split this with the centerpiece itself, and entity to split with, it's going to be the surface and I'm gonna say split um, center cap and do OK and it's done so now we have two parts as you can see let's hide one of them um, and this is the center cap which lost its face and this is the center cap um, itself okay so we're getting closer so let me rename this to center cap and let me rename this one to center. Okay, let me hide this and let's start with the center for now. That's more important. And okay, so I'm, I'm gonna look directly at the center, like normal to the center. And what I wanna do, I wanna hollow it out and drill a hole in it. And I want to do that by creating a sketch. Sketch is asking me which plane. I'm going to select the surface of the piece. So we're going to draw on the surface. And um, let's do a center point rectangle. But actually, before doing that, let me let me view my origin uh, to get some construction lines here. So um, sorry, I'm going to do sketch. Choose the surface. And we're going to go to um, center point rectangle. And I'm going to click on the center and I'm going to drag um, until it's roughly 17 millimeters. So now we have roughly square here. Uh, choose um, a horizontal edge and a vertical one. Click on the equal sign. So it's going to ensure now that you can only, uh, it's always. Uh, square and then click on the dimension one of the edges and let's do 17 millimeters and the reason why I'm doing 17 because the outer one is 19 so I want to carve I want to leave two millimeters for the rim for the outside that makes sense click on the fillet sketch fillet here click on every one of the corners I think five is good enough it might be too much um, so hit enter. Sorry, let me press escape. I'm going to drag this out. Let's see if, okay, four makes more sense. Perfect. Okay, so this is um, nice. Um, next, I'm going to do center point circle. And let's do two circles. Let's actually do three circles. 
okay um, press escape and what we want to do now is um, click on the dimension um, uh, now depending on what screws you're using like if you're using m6 or whatever like the tiny screws um, I want the radius here uh, sorry the diameter to be 2.5 millimeters uh, that might be small um, let's make it five millimeters and uh, you guys can adjust this accordingly um, actually let's make it for allow for a two millimeter radius let's um, click on this I'm gonna make this six or, or you know you can make seven doesn't matter uh, you'll have to play around with these numbers because I don't recall on top of my head depending on your screws and your preference uh, so there's no right or wrong and for this I'm gonna make eight millimeters and I'll tell you what that means um, the innermost one is gonna be a uh, the hole where the screw is gonna go in and this region here um, is gonna be the lip where the head of the screw is gonna rest on and this is gonna be um, the part that it is and it's gonna make sense in, in a minute when I when I um, hollow it and I'll show you so I'm gonna call this sketch inside center do okay and choose the extrude piece here and make sure it's solid faces and regions we want you want to choose this region here outside of the inner circle and inside the rim and when you click on it you see it's trying to extrude this area by 25 millimeters outwards and it's doing it blindly so our first thing I'll do is I wanna let's try two millimeters uh, and let's reverse the direction which is complaining that it's red now and make sure this is remove because um, remove it's it's gonna remove out the material um, instead of hollowing it and um, go ahead and click on sorry not this okay I click on the area be between the uh, first and second circles and um, the reason I did two millimeters if you look on the side and you don't think it's shallow enough you can crank it up to two and a half maybe three but do okay and this is what we have so far let's zoom in more and we have the um, the frame of the centerpiece and we have the inner piece here and um, uh, leave the leave, leave the we, we're gonna drill a hole for the screw in a minute um, let me right click and do rename um, let's call hollow center piece okay um, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is um, now it seems like um, you guys are familiar with extruding and whatnot what I'll do is um, click on extrude again and choose this ring and it's gonna make it go by 25 millimeters I'm just gonna reverse the direction and make sure it's on add it's additive not subtractive okay and you remember we sliced at 26 millimeters Um, this this line here is at the 26th millimeter and this starts from nine and a half so um, uh, you want to reduce this to maybe 11.5 um, yeah so that'll be 13 and a half yeah somewhere like this uh, you'll have to tweak this make sure the distance here is um, um, nine and a half plus eleven and a half 21 
I think yeah so yeah I'll, 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 tw I'll tweak this edge later so I'll say ex ex extrude um, center arm I'll do okay and now it looks like this okay finally um, click on this icon that says hole and um, uh, sketch to place the hole let's see if it'll if it'll let me choose okay there we go um, you wanna you want the hole to be deep enough to go through and I want this to be four millimeters because that was the radius of the innermost circle just do a blind it doesn't have to be through and by 12 and a half I think that's fine drill center piece and do okay and you'll see now we have let me hide the sketch there we go this one, sorry. Okay. So uh, you'll see now we have the arm uh, sticking out and um, we drilled the hole in it. And finally, um, one nice touch would be click on the fillet. And I like to fillet this piece and I would do maybe one millimeter. and it's complaining about the inner one so just choose the outer circle and you can choose the outer circle at the bottom as well fillet center arm oh, I'm sorry and um, let me show you see now the piece look rounded and nice and same with the inside and what happens now this inner circle is four millimeters in diameter so you can fit in screws that are up to two millimeters in radius and you, you can increase this and it's gonna rest on this edge here the edge inside uh, for the screw head so you can increase that circle if you don't want it larger and it'll, it'll stick all the way to the end here um, okay so um, you, you you want this to be um, I think 16 and a half I think um, for, for the piece when it said the extra the arm okay um, and um, you, you can always adjust these arms um, however you like depending on your core um, so I think um, I, th I think I'll stop this video here. What we'll have to do next is um, tweak the uh, center cap as well uh, to make it snap properly and create like an ed an edge here, which is a nice touch to how to um, uh, pop the center cap and then uh, we'll design the core as well. Okay, I hope uh, uh, you found this video interesting and. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I look forward to see you in the next video. Thank you.